guys. This is Sandy White, your host of Simply Fit Radio, and I'm super duper excited. I got Jana Brown here tonight, and she's going to give you all some really good information. I just want to do um, real quick to remind you guys, if you're new to the channel, our mission is to save 1 million lives by encouraging individuals to live a Simply Fit life, and we do that via health and nutrition, and we just give simple tips and strategies. And this is our second season with WYTV7, and I'm so excited that they've allowed us to come back because their mission is to educate, empower, and to encourage, which lines up with our mission. So this is a wonderful cooperation and merge so we can help get this word out to the world because we can't do uh, reach out and, and save 1 million lives without your help and your support. Please log on to WYTV7.org, click the donate button, and help us just get the word out to the world and to the nations. And also check the button for the other broadcasters. They have wonderful information as well. Guys, this season, we're going to be showing you guys how to shop. We're going to be showing you exercise that really, I because I like doing things that are simple. I like doing the HIT programs. They're nice, they're easy, they're quick and you still get that same benefit. We wanna make sure that you guys are getting super duper benefits. So make sure you continue to log in on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Uh, uh, we're Eastern Standard Time. So just check, check your time zone, but we wanna make sure we see you guys, okay? So I told you guys that we have a wonderful guest on and she is, I'm telling you guys, she is a powerhouse and you're going to be so excited about uh, meeting Jana. Jana is, uh, she's just a beautiful soul. She's a serious fighter, guys. I'm telling you, she's going to knock your socks off. So when I tell you to follow her, follow her. Jana has turned her ashes into beauty. Guys, she's gone through her pain, disappointment, and she didn't sit and trip and boo-hoo and all of that. Guys, Jenna is a widow. She's a single mom. She overcame alcoholism and she did all of this through health and nutrition and of course with the help of, of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I want you all to listen to what she has to say. She took that and turned it into a seven-figure business opportunity in health and wellness. So I don't want to hear any excuses. So without further ado, let's bring Jenna on so she can rock y'all socks off tonight. All right, Jenna, how are you tonight? Oh, fantastic. Thanks for having me. I'm super honored to be able to share my stories. I truly believe that when we go through something, it is definitely an opportunity to funnel what we learn and what we go through to other people. I, I believe that we're not bowls. You know, a bowl is something that holds, that doesn't release, right? I really believe that each of us are funnels and, and it's, it's always about the next person. It starts with us, but it's always about the next person, you know? So I just love what you guys are doing with impacting others through nutrition. You know, it's a cliche, but health truly is wealth. You know, yes, how you, feel, how you feel and what you think about and all of that determines your actions. If you feel tired, sluggish, achy, you're not going to perform years you don't feel like it right so health yeah. truly is health truly is wealth and what we go through is truly an opportunity to impact someone else so super excited to be here yes and what and 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 just piggybacking off of what you just said what what people don't do is they don't pay attention to these small tiny details that's going on in their body and that leads to uh like mild depression which can lead to suicide and depression and so this is why we are so and we are just impacting the nation with health and nutrition because when you start learning how to read your body and detect those small tiny things you can now derail what Satan meant for your harm. And now, as you mentioned, when you learn, you can go and show and teach someone else. So with that being said, what are some quick strategies based off of what you've experienced? Because you're hitting a whole gamut of, of moms that have gone through what you've gone through that I will never be able to reach or impact, but you are doing such an outstanding job. I'm just so, I'm so glad and godly proud of you. And I'm grateful to be able to be in your space. Can you just give these moms some, some, you know, three little quick tips? Cause I got a whole bunch of other questions I want to ask you. Sure. So, and tips on uh, specifically what kind of tips? Tell me again. 
So some tips like, you know, you've gone through being a widow, you've gone through being a single mom. I mean, you still have children, but but there were steps that you had to do when you encountered these um, un, un challenging uh, challenges. You went through what you went through, but you had some steps that you are now training your audience okay. and your client. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the first thing is you have to you have to allow yourself some grace and give yourself some time to feel, you know, and, and, and process. Okay. So there's a period of time that you have to allow yourself to do that uh, versus suppress and ignore and, and try to put aside, or perhaps you feel there's, there could even be a sense of pride to where you're just like, Nope, I'm not going to cry. Nope. I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel, I'm not going to do this, but you have to allow yourself to go through that. Okay. So you can get through uh, and not feel guilty or beat yourself up about it. So the first one, first and foremost is definitely give yourself some grace in your journey. And then the second one is, uh, it's really channeling, finding your channel of what it is you like and what fires you up so that you can have that time to not think about your certain, your, your circumstances. And, you know, everybody has some me time and I think needs some me time. And I think the issue, especially with single mothers is there's that guilt factor. You know, I've talked to so many women and they live legit feel guilty about going to the gym. And it's, it's understanding that that you going to the gym and taking that time is giving a gift to your kids, right? It's, it's you bettering yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself for your children. And you have to find whatever that outlet may be. For me, it's weightlifting. I could lift all day long. For some, it's running. My mom's big on the Peloton bike. All right. My sister loves the hit classes like you, you know? Um, so it just depends, whatever you like, whether it's dance, uh, it could even be biking, hiking. It doesn't matter, but find what your physical therapy, if you will, is and be okay in that space. And, you know, when you, if you have children that are perhaps, you know, in that place where they don't understand quite, you know, why you have to go lift or why you have to go bring them into it. You know, mommy's going, mommy's going to get help so she can be better for you you know, and so they can see it as a benefit. Okay. The third thing, the third thing is really trying to, um, like you said, pay attention to your different signals and your, and, and the way your body is responding to different things. Because what some people do is if they feel a certain way, they stay there and they let that paralyze them. But recognizing that that's an opportunity to now be proactive versus reactive it's like okay well you have to react to how you feel but then what are you going to do moving forward to be proactive to where you don't slip back into that place okay so grace finding your outlet and then being sensitive to your to your body and the way it's talking to you and taking the appropriate measures and not letting it handicap you and then understanding that it's not just about okay let me fix this now but what about 10 years from now 20 years from now 30 years from now, being proactive and understanding that this is life. You know, it's not going to stop. It's not slowing down. I mean, we are like fast approaching 2021. It's like mind blown. You know, what you do now is going and what you do tomorrow and choice after choice after choice is going to determine what your life looks like physically and mentally in the next 10, 20 years and understanding that we're either, this is a quote by Andy Andrews, one of my favorite authors. He said, we're either in a crisis, headed for a crisis, or coming out of a crisis, you know? And so if we can take care of ourselves mentally, spiritually, and physically, whenever we do come into something, we'll be better equipped to handle it because it's going to happen. It's life, you know, it's going to happen. So, so let me, uh, I, I want to just go back just a little bit because I, I do talk a lot and this is just to highlight you. So I'm trying to make sure I don't like, ah, but I, I, wanna, I want you to let the audience know, when did you realize lifting was something that you can take and turn into a business and be as successful as you are today? <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it was such a God thing. It was such a God thing. 
I was in a spin class. My mom got me a gym membership to get me out of the house. And I was in a, I was in a cycle class and I had been praying about what to do with my life. You know, when my husband passed away, I had no job, no college education. Like I literally moved right out of my dad's house into marriage with him. We started a family. So I had like nothing to fall back on. And I was, it was in this spin class when the Lord spoke to me and said, this is what you know how, this is what you need to do. You need to teach people how to do what you're doing. And I had lost 60 pounds uh, collectively after I had both my kids. And so I knew how to do that. And so I was funny because I said, Lord, can you confirm that? It's funny how we pray and ask God when he answers, we still don't believe. So I asked him to confirm it, you know, and then as soon as the class was over, not kidding you, the instructor walked over to me and she said, have you ever thought about training and teaching? And I was like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> so she just said, there's something special about you. I, you know, I think you'd be good at this. And, and that was it, you know, so it wasn't something that I came to realize. It was just something that he told me to do. And I already loved it. So along with the cycle class, um, I had been working with a trainer who got me into lifting. I was doing bands before, but he put the dumbbells in my hand. I went and saw several of his bodybuilding shows and decided to get on stage myself. And so I just kind of engulfed myself into, into that world and just loved it. And I loved seeing other people go from, barely being able to do anything and then to achieving, you know, great things fitness wise. So that, and that was in 2010 was when that happened. So. Okay. Now, now one of the other things that you mentioned, um, well, I'm kind of putting my own little spin on it. Right. When your mom got you the membership to the gym, she was doing Peloton did you get your children involved or was she doing Peloton at the gym that she got you to membership in or like, it was like totally all totally different directions. Yeah. Well, it was like, funny because she, yeah, I mean, she, yeah, she just knew I needed to get out of the house. And so that's what she did. Now she, you know, Peloton, uh, back then wasn't around spinning was, and she loved it. But you know, now that Peloton's around, she's addicted to that. But my kids, they are, you know, growing up uh, for them and me being a trainer at a, lo at a local gym, they would come, I would get them off the school bus and then they would come and be in the daycare or whatever while I trained. So they were just always around it. You know, me trying to lose all my weight after I had my kids, my daughter, uh, she, she would see me doing my Billy Blanks in the living room. And so uh, it's funny though, because she wants nothing to do with fitness now, but, <laughs> but my son, you know, um, he loves to work out and he's doing basketball and things like that. But yeah, I mean, I just think it just kind of, it happens by default that your kids are going to become or be influenced by whatever you do. And so naturally it, it, it did rub off. Um, not the diet part rubbed off on my daughter, but not so much the exercise piece. <laughs> so, but my son is, he's all in it. He's all in it. So let me ask you this, with all of what you accomplished thus far, you created Rise Virtual Gym, is that correct? That's, that's, that's right. something that you offer to your, your clients. Can you tell them what that's about? Oh, Rise Virtual Gym is basically a no excuses gym uh, on Facebook. It's a Facebook community. And I, just being a trainer over the years, I would hear and, and posting my stuff on social media, I would hear things like, you know, I wish you lived closer to me so I could work out with you. I would hear, um, you know, being a personal trainer. I mean, it's per, having a personal trainer is a luxury. It's not cheap. Um, and I would hear, oh, I can't afford that. You know, so uh, I basically wanted to create a space where there would be no excuses. So the Rise Virtual Gym is free. <laughs> it's a free fitness community. It's got over 50 of my workouts, uh, full length workout videos. So, um, oh, and I would also hear I don't have time. And I would, you know, so I just tried to create a place where all of your excuses were invalid. So 30 minute home workouts, no equipment necessary, all fitness levels, like eliminate that excuse. And then I would hear, I don't know what to eat. So I put general nutrition in there. Uh, not, I'm not a 
dietitian or, or anything like that. So I just put general nutrition in there to just really give people a place to where they don't have an excuse. You know, they can go in there and they can throw on one of my videos and work out with me for 30 minutes. I'll do live videos um, every now and then. I have written workouts that people can take to the gym. So it's like, you don't have any excuses with me because I just got tired of hearing them. And that's exactly what you, that is a really good uh, program to have. And you guys, she said it's free, so you have no excuses. I got some more questions for Jennifer. We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to be back with a a challenge that she has going on. And uh, hopefully it's still open where y'all can get in. All right. So we'll be back in about a, a couple seconds right after this quick commercial break. Mr. Happy Living here. I love good things made by good people. That's why I love Zona Plus the world's first software controlled handheld device that improves cardiovascular health. You're gonna love it too. I use mine almost every day to keep my blood pressure right where it should be. What surprised me though, is this little device has been adding muscle to my biceps too. I walk around all day feeling pumped. Check them out at Zona.com. Use coupon code HAPPY for $50 off. Plus, for every order placed during the month of October, I'll donate another $50 to WYTV7. Guys, we want to thank this month's sponsor, Xena Plus and Happy Living. We're so grateful for our sponsors. And I just want to let you all know, we didn't forget you. So I want to talk to Jenna about this challenge that she has. It's called the five, it's a, it's the five day plate challenge. So this is a, th- this one here, I'm telling you all, she's not going to give you no excuses, but she's such a wonderful soul. She is going to work with you. And Jenna, if you could take it away to tell them about this five, uh, five day plate challenge, if, uh, cause I, I think you started it today and if they can still get in great, if not, will you let them know when they can get in and what it's about. Absolutely, yes, and you can start anytime. There's still plenty of time, but it's basically Rise Virtual Gym. It's not just the Jana Brown show. I really like my members to be active, and so I just basically threw a post up last week asking them like what kind of challenges that they would like to see in the gym, and uh, Rachel suggested the a pretty plate challenge and I thought oh my god I love this because we've seen the squats and we've seen the abs and we've seen and those are great and we will be doing those but I thought you know nutrition is truly where people struggle the most so let's do a five day pretty plate challenge um and basically you just post a picture of your pretty plate in the comments and it you just need to have three different colors on your plate and it can be a combination of fruits and vegetables but three different colors along with your you know protein source or whatever whatever else you're eating and you just you get a point for every plate so if you do one plate a day then that's one point two a day the obviously that's two um and i'll do little uh prizes and samples a little some supplements or whatever at the end of the challenge um to you know various people but that's it and i i needed it to be honest i i, I like to pick challenges that i need <laughs> too but i'm like oh i need the nutrition one myself so let's all do it together cool so so this is a group not a one-on-one you, do, do you do one-on-one um training with individuals or it's all group so you can encourage one another yeah so i i have i've done uh one-on-one personal training and group personal training in the past however i've gone completely online so i have a virtual programs where i am very hands-on it's not just by a a four-week shred or a 10-week hybrid program and and that's it um it's it's I'm very very hands-on with my clients but I also that's another I'm glad you mentioned that because I was also very limited to only in person you know um, again going back to I wish you look closer I wish I could so I created uh, virtual programs for people who you know live anywhere and they're all you know it's all stuff designed by myself and workout designed by me and demonstration videos and 
and very, very uh, hands-on with those programs. But the group itself is free. People, what I understand is, you know, people, they've got to have value and they need to just get their feet wet. And then if they're ready for something like more customized and more next level, then that's where my fitness programs come in. I do uh, want to piggyback back because you just mentioned something that I did see the shred program. Is that more intense because I'm looking for something more intense, but I want, and this is a thing people think when they're in the health and wellness space, I, not everybody, but some folks really forget that they need the trainer needs a trainer because you don't know what you don't know until you get someone else to assist you. And so I'm looking for somebody to really kick my butt. And I saw the shred program and it, how does that, how is that supposed to work? Is that, that okay. that's virtual or is that one-on-one? -on -one? No. So I don't train in person anymore. Um, so it's, it's virtual and it's so much fun. I did it. I, I launched it, I think three years ago and had like 14 or so, uh, you know, women do it. And I have a prize. The prize is a photo shoot with my photographer here, a local. A lot of my people are in Houston, Webster, Texas area. Um, and if anyone won the program or won the challenge, uh, then it would be a cash out option. But it, it's intense because it's only four weeks. It's only four weeks. And so a lot of women do it. They need a jump start. They're looking for next level. They've hit a plateau, whatever the case may be. Or I love to launch the four week shred around this time of year because this is when people gain the most weight with Thanksgiving and, uh, you know, um, uh, Halloween and Christmas and things like that. But basically it's a four week nutrition and exercise program. It is very strict. And I tell people up front, it's very strict. So I'll put it out there. And then we, we gather on a coaching call, um, usually three or four days before the actual kickoff date. And I just go through the whole program with everybody and answer questions and things like that. But they are, uh, they can choose when they work out. They can choose what workout they want to do. It's got 18 workouts in the program and they can just click on the one they want to do. It's written and then it has a demonstration video that coincides with that particular workout. But it's, it, it is intense and people ask, how much am I going to, you know, what's the average? everybody's different. I mean, I've had people lose 15 pounds and 12 inches. I've had people lose five pounds and eight inches. Like it just depends on, con uh, uh, compliance <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and the human body, you know, we, we're all different just like our thumbprints. So, yes. So let me ask you, what are, what are things that inspire you or who are the individuals that are your inspiration for those days where you're like, you know what, I really don't care for what's going on. And I know I'm slipping. I don't want to be there, but I'm just in that space. What, what keeps you on the health and wellness role? And then when you, when you, when you feel like you're slipping, what do you do to inspire yourself just to not go back to where you came from? Cause that's a lot of hard work that you've put in and that you're maintaining. And some folks really, they just don't, when they, when they make that decision to go on to the, the utilize health and wellness to get to a better space, they really don't put a plan of action in place that when they slip up, what do I do? And I think people totally forget that point. Yeah, I love that question. Thank you. They Well, going back to my first tip before is grace. Like you, you can't beat yourself up. Like you're got to be human. You have to allow yourself to be human. And, I'll, and some of it too, though, Sandra, is the knowledge that one day of indulgent is not going to ruin you know, your progress, like, it, you know, it would, it's the day after day after day choices versus the one day. But for me, honestly, it's, I have fallen in love with how I feel. I have fallen in love with the therapy that my training program brings me, you know? And so, um, I can't say that I have a lot of days where I'm just kind of off, but when I am, when I don't feel like going to the gym or I do just kind of feel blah, as you would say, I just think, Jana, it's an hour, get it over with. Just get it over with, get it over with. 
And furthermore, I recognize when I need a trainer myself. So I actually am working with a trainer right now because I was getting bored. I was getting bored and I was getting complacent and I was getting lazy and I was missing days and I, my workouts were not the best. And I was like, okay, now it's time for me to get a trainer to kind of kick things up a notch and get more consistent and hold me accountable. Like I have to show up at nine 30 every day, <laughs> you know? So it's just understanding yourself and recognizing when you need accountability and reaching out for it. Uh, and realizing too, that you're not always going to feel like a hundred percent every day. That and is so you're not. And the problem with people is that if, well, the, the, the scary thing is if you, if you allow yourself, if, let me rephrase, if you base your actions of the day on how you felt, you would not get a lot done because I personally, I don't know about you, but I would have more days where I didn't feel like it than more days that I do. And so you just have to have this. That's where the discipline comes in. People say, I need, I want your motivation. I'm like, no, you don't need motivation. You need discipline because motivation comes and goes, but discipline is what's going to keep you on the days you don't feel like it and Amen. understanding that the day's going to go by anyway. So just get it over with. <laughs> that's what I tell myself. <laughs> Just get it done. Let's go. This is so true. Guys, I have had a wonderful time, and I know you guys have had a wonderful time talking and listening, um, it, it, you know, with the questions in the chat and things like that. So with that being said, Jenna, can you tell these guys, because you're in Texas, and we have, uh, like, we've got, like, 1.4 million folks all from all over. So it's a great thing that you don't do one-on-ones anymore. So can you tell these guys how they can reach out to you if they want more of a challenge, want to join the plate the pretty plate challenge and just you know what the other things that you have to offer for them absolutely you know social media is such a beautiful thing uh so on instagram it's upgrade everything 81 and then on facebook jana e brown or you can just search for rise virtual gym and connect with me there i love new friends so the more the merrier cool beings Guys, I'm your host, Sandy White of Simply Fit Radio. Remember, we come on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your time zones. But we want to see you guys every Wednesday because we've got powerhouses coming on week after week after week. And Jenna just told you how to reach out to her. And, and she is going to work with you guys with wonderful programs. So if you want somebody that's not going to boohoo you and just kick you into gear, Get online and sign up with Jenna. All right, guys? So we love you guys, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.